In this tutorial, you learn how to serialize and deserialize Python objects. This video is part 3 of a series. In this part, you learn how to create a generic serializer that can deal with arbitrary object types. If you have missed the previous parts of this tutorial, click here to start at the beginning. Otherwise, let's go! The serialization logic was refactored to its own class. But this class can only work with a single object type. Media player state. The consequence of this is that this code cannot be reused to serialize objects of other types. But if the dependency on media player state is removed, how can objects be created? For this, I need to make the class generic. And Python introduced type parameter syntax, which allows us to do this very elegantly. So I have three tasks make the class generic create generic objects and instantiate the serializer in a generic way. The first thing I do is remove the import. Then I annotate this class to work with type T. This allows the class to accept a type when it is instantiated. At this point I can use this type information at runtime. This will get access to the generic type, but it will not work yet. Watch this. The attribute is not available. To make it available, I have to pass the type when instantiating the class in main. I run the code again. Look at the output. The type is printed. But I still get an error. This one is expected. The generic class is trying to instantiate media player state. Instead, it now needs to instantiate an object of type T. And the type can be retrieved from Dunder Auric class like this. This is the type I am looking for. I use it when instantiating the object. And that works. But the class still has some knowledge of the serializable object. I will extract the file name from the type info as well. I start with changing the serialize method. and use the file name here. Watch what happens when I execute the code. A JSON file with the generic type name is created. I use the file name in the deserialize method. And use it here. I test a final time. Very nice. I can now use this generic serializer for any class I create in my project. Of course, generics can be used for many purposes. Lists can be made generic, and one of my favorites is writing generic type converters. And to see how that works, click on the screen right now and we'll see each other in the next video. There you will see how generics are used to convert types in Python.